This video is brought to you by Squarespace. There it is, Ricky. Oh my gosh, it is massive. Actually, I didn't think it was gonna be this big. So yeah, Ricky and I are here picking up a 1996 Sega Saturn Knights promo display sign. So it's like a lenticular promo light up sign for Nights into Dreams. Is it double sided? It's double sided. Wow, do both sides lights up or just one? No, it, it's a light bulb in the middle and it lights both sides. When we got in here, we couldn't believe it because we saw the thing on offer up and it looked cool, but pictures didn't do it justice. What we're seeing here is so much better than we expected. Bro, I gotta ask, where'd you get this thing? Uh, that's from a store that closed down a while ago, a couple years ago. From a store that closed down a while ago. That's how I got ago. a lot of my stuff from those stores. Ricky, I'll go down here. I want to get a better grip on it. Okay, I'm just getting right here. There we go. You can't go too late. Wow. The garage. So when we pulled this out and got it more outside of the garage, the more I moved around, the more I realized how pretty the lenticular was. It was like every angle that you moved. As I'm moving, you can see nights into dreams, and when you move over, it says prepare to fly. I'm gonna try, there we go. There's the prepare to fly right there. It was like a perfect looking lenticular. I've seen these things before, not these. I've never seen this before in my life, but other things of that lenticular nature, which don't have like a beautiful turn ratio on it. This was perfect. Wow, dude, so you've had this for a while? Or? Yeah, for about, 20, 25, 35 years. So it's crazy that this has been kind of sitting here since the guy got it and from a store from around him from when he was a kid and now it's in our position, it's in our hands. Wow, dude, this is way, 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 way cooler than I was thinking. So we're gonna load this thing up, take a look at it later, go to the swap meet and we'll come back to you guys later and look at this thing again, it's unreal. I'm sold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's sold. Sonic team right there. Too. So obviously we'll go get this put up in Ricky's house, but that was way cooler than I expected. Way cooler, the pictures didn't do it the, justice. So there's, there was pictures on OfferUp, and the OfferUp pictures, although cool, yeah. this was way bigger, way more lenticular, and way sturdier than I was expecting. Oh dude, I, I thought it was only like this thin, but dude, this thing's like big. I know what we're talking about. The sign. <laughs> <laughs> we're at Ricky's house and we're about to unload the sign, but before that, I think we have something crazy, and I mean crazy, waiting for us at the swap meet. Let's go get it. All right, brand new Naruto beanie. You got a little mermaid tiger electronics, one of the new ones, and some freaking PJs right here, all for 20 bucks. I'll buy them right now. Ricky, what you, what you got going on over here, Ricky? So this is a Switch. A Switch Lite? I think it's broken. Oh yeah, it's got a blue screen. I don't know anything about that though. What about the GameCube? Uh, he's looking for the pieces right now. Oh, nice. A little piece in my heart, baby. See, Ricky, Sundays, bro. All right, Ricky and I picked him up. It was daylight savings, by the way, so it's a little bit darker than usual, but yeah, we got, uh, I got the Slim and Ricky got the GameCube. -er. 40 bucks each, and then Camel Crew Tony over there, he picked up a, a Wii U. But uh, you know, according to Mort's video, they're bricked, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good morning. And Tony did just buy a Wii U, but the question at hand is, is there a game in it? So, only one way to find out. Tony, checking where he belongs by the restroom. All right, All right let's see the moment of truth. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> there we go. Nice and delayed, but it happened. <laughs> Oh, wow, dude. Okay. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh that one. okay. So, are you looking to sell it as a bundle or so. what'd you want for the whole thing? Like eight. Eight? Let's do it, man. Yep. I'll split it. Wanna do it? Yeah, let's do it. So, they all have. Oh, okay, here. Let's look. Unless, Tony, you, you are clearly first tips. No, 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 no. The eight would include the. Wow. The SP. Right? Okay, so it's got the SP, and that all has, you said, everything, everything. here and there. Wario Land, Pokemon Pinball, this Doom, see, see. Oracle, Link's Awakening. <laughs> wow. I'll say I right. buy one part of it. Off of us for us. Yeah, oh, we'll sell it to you for 800. <laughs> 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 I'm <I'm> just kidding. <laughs> yeah, dude, Ricky, Holy that's that's shit. that's not even a bad deal. Yeah. Okay. All right, so yeah, this is a uh, this is a little more this is good. This is better than I was thinking. A lot of times when people are like, "Hey, we're going to bring because Tony over here 
good old Camel Crew, he, uh, he was like, hey, this guy's gonna bring Game Boy stuff, but we didn't really know it was coming. So when it's like that, a lot of times in your brain, you think, you know, they're gonna bring nothing but sports titles, this and that. You're kind of like, eh. But as soon as we walked over, we were all very pleasantly surprised. So um, yeah, Ricky said that we're, we're basically splitting it down the middle. And then we're also gonna have him take a piece of just Pokemon pinball. So Ricky, you can keep this and I'll keep the rest. Okay, so not only was that a good deal, we paid 800 bucks by the way, um, we, and we just paid what he asked. Um, we just straight up were like, yep, that works for us, we're not gonna barter you. Um, not only that, everything was in really good condition, but it was also like very good Crazy. titles. Did you steal the Wario? Yeah, honestly, what, what the thing the is about this lot, that? this isn't like just a, like a good lot for the sake of like, oh, it's valuable. Like this is some of the most fun games you'll ever see on the Game Boy Advance. Donkey Kong Country, you got Super Mario Advance, and look at this. This is nothing but fun titles. These Wario games, Wario Land 4 is debatably one of the funnest games I've played in a 16-bit style so on good. the Game Boy Advance. I've never played Doom, though, on it, and then you have Oracle of Ages. This is just a lot of nothing but fun, like, childhood games. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely insane. Also, have to make it very, very, very clear, we 100% gave Tony first dibs, because it was your deal. Thank you, sir. Yeah, there you go. We basically just gave him that. So there you go. Because oh, yeah, you said nostalgia? He, <laughs> <laughs> he, hooked, he hooked us up with a deal, and when we got there, we told him, like, hey, you have first dibs on this lot because you hooked up this meetup, so to say. So, But otherwise, screw you. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> Ricky, do you know what this is for? <laughs> oh, what? What? <laughs> yes! You oh, someone it. sewed it. Oh. But it's blink. No, what? I am Pick it so. Up. Oh, okay, this is weird. How much are the hats? <laughs> How much are the hats? Five bucks? It is the weirdest hat I've seen in a while. Here you go. Thank you, appreciate it. I know I'm okay, thank you though, appreciate it. Thank you, you too. What'd you get? The PSP Go box for five bucks, Ricky. Let's see, how's it look inside? How's the box? Oh, dude, it's heavy. It's heavy. I can't open it. I told you, bro, it's not empty. He stole it. It's right there. There's some. There's something really small in those pants. There's something really small in there. So I don't. Oh yeah, it has inserts. The inserts are heavy. I thought it was in here. Motion Plus. Here you go. So you got a Motion Plus. You got a PS3. And you got one of my favorite controllers, actually. Actually, you found this one first, so go No, ahead. no, no, you saw it. I mean, ask how much, we'll see. Go for it. ¿Cuánto que bien? 20 por todo. White guys finish last. 15 bucks for all. Woo! Look at these, look at these Converse. I think they're called the Run Motion Pluses, and wow. I can't tell if I absolutely love them or absolutely hate them. It's like a little bit, one minute I'll look and be like, dude, these are so stupid. And the next minute I'm like, these are awesome. They would not look good on my ankles. Oh, they would look. Run, run star motion. Run, oh, run star motion. <laughs> Ricky said they're called run star motions. Bro, what do I know, dog? I don't know either. Ew, that's cool, dude. Oh, look at that. So it's thick, it doesn't bend. Dude. Wow. Is this official or it's on canvas? Yeah, it's just on a canvas print. Wow, that is really cool. Really, really, really cool and beautiful. It's huge, probably like three feet. I just got two shirts, check them out. Nothing's crazy, but, but cool little shirts. Let's see this, let's see I this. I got da, 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 a little, oh, that's pretty dude. Super Mario, a little Abbey Road crossover. I just said that's pretty dude. <laughs> that's pretty dude, that's pretty dude. And then a good old Mario Oh, fart. dang. Yeah, super I cool. Like, that's actually, really no, cool. Look a little cool, I like the cracking on it, actually. You're gonna keep it, aren't you? How wonderful, yes it is, my size. <laughs> Ricky, this is a very nice looking Samsung TV. Dude. I don't know why I like like the thin border style. It feels like it's a little more like it's like a retro TV, but it feels it's like a little more newer. sleek. Yeah. Yeah. Let's check the year on it. The year on it, dude. 1901. I say 1994. Oh, look at the back too. Wait, camera in. <gasps> oh, this Yo, is for this security. Is, that is. Maybe it's for a prison. Alcatraz, and it's the one that caught Al Capone. This is the one, dude. The real question at hand. Yeah. Who would win in a fight, Super Mario or King Kong? Dude, we've already had this. No, we've never had this conversation. No, I mean, it's that's a game. Who, who would win, Except Ricky? King Kong, bro. Wow. Curtis? King Kong. <laughs> you guys are horrible, bro. Wait, 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 it depends. No, 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 you guys aren't gamers anymore. <laughs> this was basically already settled in the original Donkey Kong game. Mario wins, the big gorilla, and Mario gets the superstar well, and then well, it's over. It depends how good of a player you are. I mean, it's <laughs> my level. Great at Donkey Kong, I mean. <laughs> Ricky, do you remember when this movie came out, Sin City? Yeah. I remember being like, so like, whoa, like cinematically, like, 
it, like frazzled by the way it looked. I loved it. Dude, it was pretty crazy. I liked it. It's like this when 300 came out. Yeah, that's true. Exactly like Which one was better? Ooh, 300. Me too, I'm gonna say 300. Leonidas, bro, is like, I think, feel like the reason every man worked out for like a decade. <laughs> worked out for a whole week. <laughs> Ooh, what do we got, Ricky? Got Nintendo, we got games. So what game, so it looks like it says 70 bucks, which isn't the greatest thing I've seen. No. But Dr. Mario, Dino oh. Ricky, Mario Duck Hunt. Check this one out, They bro. have prices on them, so 30 bucks on these. 30 so that's bucks. like 10 each. Mm -hmm. And then you got a PS1. That's the one I actually grew up playing. Remember our buddy oh, Sean cares? would mod it for us? Oh yeah, we modded <laughs> consoles all the time, bro. We rented them and he burned they them. He used for to call it. me the mod god in high school, bro. If it was legal, I didn't play it. <laughs> and then they got these over here, Ricky. You just bought a GameCube. Here's a. Oh, I thought, I thought it was a Luigi. Oh, me controller. too. I was like, oh. And then they got some uh, NFL Blitz and Blitz 2. They really didn't um, work that hard on rebranding these. I just realized that. Look, they basically just threw a football player behind the other one. Same colors. Yeah. <laughs> What's Ricky buying right now? Let's see, Ricky. What do you got? Oh, a switcheroony plug? Switcheroony plug. You find a PS2 Slim plug, please help me. I shall help That's you. what I'm looking for right now, so. Nice, Ricky, little switch plug. Well, Curtis is over here looking like a something. <laughs> Dude, look at the size of this peepee. -pee. So we've showed this kind of stuff before, but man, this one is huge. This is a live spider crab. They don't want us to touch this kind of stuff, but man. Ricky, there's some, oh, there's some more in here, Ricky, look. Right there. Is it moving though? Uh, no, not moving, but obviously they're alive. They have them grow grooving maybe, and grooving. Maybe they're decoration. But this place is actually cool, Ricky. Uh, you can see that's the guy. And yeah. if you look at the pictures, that's him fishing. Dang. That's him in the back. He catches all this and brings him here to the swap meet. It's actually super cool. That's really cool. What you got? It's an old school Yogi Bear piggy bank. Wait, is it? I think it might have been a like a, a cup straw. No, it's isn't. Oh, is it a cup straw? Right. It's like a piggy bank, but it almost looks like they had a straw, but what yeah, year is no, it? No, I think you're right. Wait, no, there's a hole in the bottom. Nick, Knickerbocker is who made this. Oh, I think it had a base though, Ricky, because it looks like it was pulled uh, off of something. So where Ricky and I are from in Orange County, California, this looks like something that would have been hung up in like a Wahoo's fish tacos. Ooh, a Jax. A Quicksilver Brazil. Oh, it's like a display. Ooh. It's a promo display for their sandal. It's got a signature on it. I wonder whose it is. BR. Well, I don't know. Brian Reeves. I don't even know what Billy that would be. Slater. Billy Slater. Not only the Sega Saturn, crazy Sega Saturn sign and all the Game Boy stuff, Curtis and Ricky and I, let's pretend all these games, we only get to keep one in existence to play for the rest of our lives. Which will it be? Ricky? If it's to play, Super Mario World, Super Mario Advance 2. I'm gonna go with literally one of the greatest games of all time, Link's Awakening. It's li quite literally one of my favorite games in existence in the world. Dude, this one's easy. I'm gonna tell you right now, pinball. It's backwards. Oh no! <laughs> and that wraps up another beautiful day at the swap. And back, back baby, to get the sign out. We gotta get this in your room, even though we both can agree there's probably not enough room in there. There's no room. But let's just get it out of here in your house. Back at Ricky's house now and just so happy that the day has already been going amazing with the Game Boy stuff, with this crazy Game Boy lot, but now we gotta take this thing out. We get it out and I'm flooded back with memories of when I was a kid at Toys R Us playing games like Super Mario 64 and Knights on the Sega Saturn. I vividly remember being on the kiosk, looking at it with my brothers, just astounded that this is, hey, where Sega's going. I think we need to uh, plug this thing in in a minute. We haven't seen it plugged in yet. We only saw it in pictures plugged in, but uh, this is cool. Knights, uh, I think it came out in 1996. This is one of those games, along with, funny enough, Mario 64 was like my Toys R Us game. It was one of those games where me and my brothers would play. And this, as much as Mario 64 is like emotional to me, this one I remember really struck a chord with me with the way that with the graphics were like that weird, almost like Mischief Makers 2.5D going from side scrolling and kind of like spinning around corners to feeling like you're in more of a 3D world. I think you play as a character named Elliot who you're protecting Nighttopia. And basically the story for the game is if you got to protect this separate night world, the separate dream world, because if you don't, the characters then take over the real world. So that's your end goal in the game. And it's just a beautiful game. I think uh, as far as like, you know, when we think of Nintendo, we think Mario 64 kind of changed the mold for kind of like feeling different, open in 3D. For me, in the world of Sega, this is kind of the game that kind of changed my process as to what I thought Sega could technically do. I knew where Nintendo was going. I was a Nintendo fanboy as a kid, but after Genesis, I didn't really play the Sega that much, except the Dreamcast at the end. But Sega Saturn, this was my push into seeing that Sega was doing new and innovative things. 
I just can't wait to plug it in. I almost want to plug it in the dark. I think I think we just need to plug it in wherever. Where's the best spot? Uh, All right, Ricky. I know the lighting looks horrible right now, but let's see. Plug it in. Plug. I can't even see it. Plug it. Uh oh, it's not turning on. Nicole, are you excited about this? Oh, there it is. Oh wow. Oh. Actually. Dang. And now a quick word from our longest standing sponsor. Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform from which to create your website. Also connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content. Manage your members, send email communications and leverage audience insights. All in one easy to use platform. Create a community on your Squarespace website with fully integrated commenting system that supports threaded comments, replies and likes. And you can use their powerful blogging tools to categorize, share and schedule your posts too. Extend Squarespace's already powerful e-commerce capabilities with Squarespace extensions. These new third party tools can help you manage inventory, promote products, streamline bookkeeping, reconcile and file sales tax, and ship items across the globe. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash pixel game squad to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is a legend. They are one of our longest standing platforms. Get, get back here. Thanks Squarespace. Yeah. Wow, Ricky, it looks actually really cool right now. I can see the ready, to, the prepare to fly much better than I could in the daylight. Dude, from that earlier. Looks really sick. Wow. So along with the Knights into Dreams rare promo crazy sign. Are you happy about that, Nicole? She thought it was Aladdin. <laughs> <laughs> and so did Dave. <laughs> All the crazy Game Boy stuff. Um, just another unbelievable weekend. I'm always left speechless. Crazy, 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 crazy day. So thankful. <laughs> For my sins.